So, what is a logical framework? Logical framework or the log frame is a linear logical sequence describing how the project or the program will create the desired change. It is usually represented in the form of a table and it links project input, activities, output, outcome and impact in a simple and clear relationship along with the indicators, risk and assumptions. But some experts have pointed out that the log frame is too simplistic in its approach and it only looks at the specific pathway that the project or program will bring, leaving out other unintended results and outcomes. But it is this simplicity of the logical framework what makes it easier for the project team and the donor to monitor program implementation and its results. No wonder it is widely used across the world. But how do you develop a logical framework? To create one, we need to link the impact, the outcome, outputs and the activities with a logic. We usually start with the impact or the goal and come down towards the activity. At each step, we also have the assumptions and the risk. So in this example, we can see that the goal or the impact of the project is to increase the number of primary students continue to high school by 10% within three years. But to achieve this goal or the impact, we need to improve the reading proficiency among the children in grade 5 to 6 by 20% within three years. So this becomes the outcome. But the outcome cannot be achieved until the grade 5 and 6 students with low reading proficiency complete a reading summer camp. And also the parents of these children equally need to help them read at home. So these are the outputs. But to achieve the outputs, the project has to run 5 reading summer camps for children who are low at reading proficiency. Also the project has to distribute the reading materials who are attending the summer reading, reading camp. So these are the activities. So we can see that there is a clear logical sequence and relationship between the goal or the impact, the outcome, the outputs and the activities. But we also need to add a couple of new things such as the indicators which tells us how we are going to measure the results at each level. We also need to add the means of verification which tells us from where we are going to get the data and finally the risk and assumptions of the project which informs us about the broader environment within which the project is being implemented. So that in essence is the logical framework.